I'm Brittany. And I'm Nicole. And we're those girls. Welcome to episode 28 of our podcast. Today we're talking everything social media. Yeah. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. There is a lot. So we'll just start out. So I just took a class, my mm -hmm. awesome boss, Jessica. She had a woman come in who's a professional. She makes all of her money off of her own social media and then teaching other people how to do it. Oh, that's super uh, cool. Like yeah. almost like an influencer of social media. Yeah. So she kind of like what what I think what I got from it is she kind of it was like a marketing company, but she kind of just switched gears to make it to completely social media. Mm -hmm. She teaches people how to do it. Um, you have to pivot. I learned a lot. Yeah. So, so what social medias did you guys talk about as a whole? So we went around the class probably had 20 to 25 people in it, which okay. is a lot. That's a lot. Um, most people in our industry, um, just because that's who put the, the class on. Mm -hmm. um, I did think was really cool. There was a lot of older people like our parents age who okay. were literally just like, I want to learn how to do this because I want to keep growing, which I mm -hmm. thought was super cool because like I could never picture my parents like in their 60s trying to learn social media to promote their business that they were a lot of them were real estate agents right and they were like we just need to do this like i know nothing about it and i need to that's awesome so that was the beginning she had us go around it was funny every single person so i've talked about on here a bunch of times mm -hmm. i'm scared of tiktok yep i won't make the leap number well, one and we just have to say you downloaded it like 10 days ago and i was so <laughs> happy because i could send you things so everybody's <laughs> been waiting because i haven't posted i haven't done one thing with it nope i just knew you had it i, I barely had opened it. it until the other day i scrolled like a little bit each day because i yep. don't i know i'm gonna get like deep deep in it it is it is a rabbit hole it's weird and there's weird like and you can you can be on one thing like Saturday night. I was just getting motivational, 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 yep. motivational. And then Sunday morning, I reopened the app. Yep, I'm addicted. And um, it was like puppies and unicorns. Like yep. it was like two completely ends of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. But th there definitely are some dark corners you can stumble across. <laughs> <laughs> so it was interesting, too. We went around the room. And when we started... Same thing. She had ever she asked everyone what social media platforms do you already use mm -hmm. and what do you want to learn about? And every single person was like scared of TikTok, want to learn about TikTok. Really? Nobody almost I don't think anyone in the room was on TikTok. Okay. So she made people that were there download it. And they okay. had to start it. Um learned a lot from it. But I guess most of the reason I was scared for number one, I didn't want another thing to keep up with. Mm -hmm. I didn't want another thing to suck the brain out of my head. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I did it. So today's the first day I posted my first TikTok and ever. And it was adorable. It was. I wish we sent it. To, but it was literally. So next week we'll have. Yeah, we didn't it was a it video of a tortoise. Mm -hmm. Is that what they are? It's a tortoise, right? The big ones. Looks like a dinosaur. Yeah. So uh, I saw a tortoise it's, yesterday. It's a big ass turtle. And I, I, mean, I took a video of it. I was like, I'll use. I, so this is what I've been doing in my life. I take videos of just random 10 second things of everything I see because I end up using them when I need them. Mm -hmm. And I just said, this is me running to TikTok or like how fast yep. I how got fast on TikTok. How fast you're getting there, yes. I put it up an hour ago. It already has 800 views. Oh, yeah. And then I have these already. Is, is this like a dark side of TikTok that we should talk about? Is it a dating app? No. So I've never... Ne <laughs> So, what type of DMs are you getting? Okay, so I've had the app for 10 days. All that's on it, there's no videos, no photos. I don't you can't even post photos. Right? You're almost you almost look like you could post photos now. I would there's think like, people would think I'm a bot. Yeah, like you look it's more like a, a bot. It's just a profile picture. Right. It's an and it's just it's just my head. It's like literally just my face with sunglasses yep. on. I have gotten in <laughs> Hello beautiful. I'm Raymond. I'm from North Carolina and I'm a contractor. You? Cool. Hello beautiful. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> This happened after I posted the video. Hello, beautiful. Would you let daddy spoil you with a weekly allowance of $5,000 and help what? financially? What did you sign up for on TikTok? <laughs> what in the oh. hell? Uh, did not did know we were going down this road. Yeah, isn't that great? This is just thanks for <laughs> following my private account. Don't even know who it is. Are you, are you following people? Not really. Like people I know. These are all strangers. How many DMs do you have in there? Like four. Oh my God. No, From... I have never received anything like that. I, mean... I received the, the biggest comment I get on my TikTok videos this, are. This is daddy, everybody. <laughs> Obviously fake. He has no photos. It's just one video. And he wants to give me $5,000 a week to hang out. Hey, like, I feel like you should vet the source. Just, you know? I mean. I just, is it like, I was wondering, is that what it's like? No, no, Why? I don't know what, um, like, so like I get more comments on my videos. And so 
when I first got on TikTok, TikTok was only like 15 seconds or 30 seconds. So now, now, now you can do 10 minutes. Now you can do 10 minutes. And like, so I've never, I lose attention span over a minute and a half. So I try really hard. I, mine's not like 10 to, seconds. Yeah. I, I literally watch something and be like, what? Like, I'm done. Unless I'm watching like a Judge Judy episode on TikTok or something. I haven't even. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. So my daughter does this too, not to jump, but like she watches TV on TikTok. Yes, I watch TV on TikTok. I watch my news on TikTok. Um, So what is it? Just like a clip? It's a clip, right? So like, and then some people, what they'll do, I've seen them, like with Judge Judy episodes, for instance, they just clip it out. (laughs) So there might be like eight parts because it's three minutes a piece and now you're getting the full episode. So you just like watch the parts throughout the day? Uh, Or you just do like... So when you're watching a TikTok, if you scroll, if you take your finger, because I can't, I'm not going to say right or left the right way. If you take it and you swipe left, it takes you to their main account. So you can see all of their videos. Just learn something else. (laughs) (laughs) So if you see something in your feed that you like and you like that creator or that person or that story, if you swipe this way, you can see the extra parts. So, So, okay. um, Lost my train of thought now. Oh, well, anyway, the girl was telling us. So in on, not that anyone cares, but like on my Instagram, I try to like, I don't, I'm not a person that will like sit and listen to informational shit. Like she's the opposite in that. Yeah. So everybody, I, and I realized that today, a light bulb went off that like, just because I wouldn't watch something talking about mortgages doesn't mean somebody else wouldn't. Cause she was like, TikTok is all about information. She's like, you have to be talking about something they care about Mm -hmm. and you have to be informational on my Instagram. I just do like the little voiceover things and try to relate it to mortgages somehow to be funny. Yeah. But like, I don't actually, I, sometimes I try, but like, I don't give a ton of information on there. It's more of like a, hey, if you want more information, reach out to me kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So now I have to kind of switch gears a little bit. Yeah. I think that TikTok is very, it, is, it has those different channels. And so not only do you have to kind of talk about what you're saying, be a little more informational and, and those types of things, but You also have to kind of also be able to ebb and flow within what you're familiar with on Instagram because once you get down a channel, that's all you're getting. So if you catch the wrong audience on TikTok, well, then you get weird fucking DMs like you got there. All I put on there was, so she said hashtags are still important. I didn't think they were a thing anymore. She said they're important on TikTok yes, and Instagram, but she said more so on TikTok because if you do like hashtag FYP Mm -hmm. and then you put the hashtags, it's going to put that on someone else's for you page. Yes. And that's what you want. Yes. So what? Oh, I know why. <laughs> <laughs> what hashtag did you use? We really need to edit this video in because we really need to see uh, how this. She... Okay. So my hashtag was. <laughs> how do I see what I wrote? Okay. I put hashtag mortgages, hashtag turtle talk, hashtag new to TikTok. So there's a turtle talk fetish? I guess I can just show it. They'll see it on the screen, right? If I just put my phone up to it. Al? Um. He's now downloading TikTok to see what <laughs> I can just put it up to the camera. camera. I, see, I, right? might, I might be able to find it. Give me <laughs> no, one, no, give okay. me one I'll, second. I'll just put it up to the camera. <laughs> yeah, but I might be able to pull okay. it up. It's so Just it's keep same. talking. Just it's keep the talking. the same as my Instagram <laughs> handle. So mortgages underscore with GIF. There, we just we never plug, do we that. Just plug why your TikTok? Why do we ever plug ourselves? Do- <laughs> Every episode at the end, we're plugging ourselves. Yeah, we plug ourselves. <laughs> I'm gonna have a flipping commercial here soon. Oh uh, yes. Okay. So yeah. anyway, we'll wrap this up. No. So yes. So when Al finds that, we'll show it. But yes, I I didn't know that hashtags are still important. Yes, hashtags are important. Just learned a valuable lesson. They're trying to. Are they trying to like groom the new kid? <laughs> like, how did that happen? Oh, like you're so I feel like with any social media platform, especially ones that are still newer, like TikTok is still newer, I think, out of all of them, except for maybe threads. But um, there's an algorithm it has to set for you. So I don't I don't know. <laughs> I just set myself up for like you did, unfortunately. It's kind of fitting. I mean, like, if I anyone's go. going down the dark world of TikTok, it's me. But like, no, I, I wonder if. It t- <laughs> I wish you guys could see TikTok on a giant monitor. <laughs> so, so, um, I think that there's a way that, especially with TikTok asking if it can, it could link to your Instagram because it also did that. Um, I wonder what you're looking at on your other social media platforms that are now 
walking this algorithm for TikTok. Well, but apparently the only ones I'm supposed to care about in this order is TikTok, Instagram. Nobody gives an F about Facebook. I feel like, and I just learned this because I had a social media class over the weekend, um, that Facebook is more like the new LinkedIn. So like it, it, okay, we have video. We have the video. We That's have more video. important. Then you Let's guys go can back. see what we're talking about and then we can go back to. This was everybody. This was Nicole's TikTok debut. <laughs> Which was like an hour ago. Yeah. You got to be about it. I can't tell everyone else to do it if I'm not going to do it. Oh, it doesn't have the music. The music's the best part. So you posted this on your Instagram as well. Yep. Um, and I believe in your Instagram post, there was like a little rocket ship at the top. There was a TikTok symbol. No, it was like a full emoji on the top. Oh, I didn't put that there. Okay, we'll look. We'll at discuss that. that later. We'll discuss that later. Yep. Um, but anyway, so this turtle, that turtle I saw yesterday in Cape Cod. Oh, it yeah, lives so at we, it lives at an ice cream shop. Um, hi Bethany, we had a we had a little like girls' friends day, and you know we went to lunch, we went to the beach, and then she, we're driving back to her house, and she's like, "You have to see the turtle." I'm like, "What are you talking about?" She's like, "We're going to see the turtle," and I'm like, "I don't know what you're talking about." She's like, "It's the turtle." out of the shell. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. So we walk over to this little pen and I instantly had so many questions. I'm like, that shell looks hella heavy. It's a hundred degrees out and it doesn't have a bath. We have like a heat advisor. In my mind, I'm thinking this thing wants water. She's like, it's not, it's, she's like, it's a land animal. She's like, it does not want water. Like it, to, to be in. So it's you, not a swimming turtle. So are you ready for my turtle story? Yeah, we'll switch. <laughs> so just, just because now you know what the what turtles look like. It was so cool though. It was literally like a dinosaur. We had a two family in Hingham and we had a tenant in one of our sides and the husband rescued animals or something. I, I don't remember what it was. And um, so I come home from work one day because we lived in one side and they lived in the other side. And there's two of those honkers in my backyard eating grass. Oh, no, we had a friend because, who had one that lived in his house his whole life. The thing was like 100. And then was letting them sleep in the bathtub at night. Okay, and not to be gross, <laughs> but the poops in that oh, pen. Like great day. They were like this big. Yeah. I, I was questioning how it even a lot of poop came, <laughs> came out of the animal. It was so big. Yes. It was literally, it was just grass. It was like hay and mud. Okay. Now anyway. that might be getting a little too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so moving on. <laughs> I'm on TikTok. We'll keep you updated. When I go viral, we'll have a party. It's going to happen. Mortgages underscore with GIF. <laughs> yep. That's it. Okay. Now that we've, you know. So did you like the class you had today? I loved it. It was super okay. cool. I got a bunch of cool little tidbits. Um, even just like little things about how to use the app that you mm -hmm. don't normally know how to use. I learned how to record audio because I had my settings to off on Instagram. That's why I couldn't record. Oh. It's just like all these okay. little crazy things that you don't know about. It's too much so, to learn. Yeah. But it's if I can much. grow business or make money from it, and I'm doing it anyway. Yeah. Like, I don't I don't feel like there's an option to not do it anymore. I th I enjoy making content. Oh, I, like, most of the time I love it. But Yeah, like, I, I thoroughly enjoy making content. Now, am I an over-perfectionist with what I put out there for X, Y, and Z reasons? Yes. So I probably don't post as much as I should. Her biggest tip was don't overpost. Like, you know, post as much as what you're just saying. Mm -hmm. But her biggest tip was do she's a type A perfectionist. And she said, do not be a perfectionist. She said, that's where you're going to go wrong. She goes, the stupidest ones that go viral are like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? She's like, so when you put too much time into it, it's overwhelming, but you don't need to. Yeah. yeah. My most liked and saved TikTok, just because that's what I use, because that's the platform I like the most is when we redid our patio this spring, because, you know, when an architect and a real estate agent buy a house, <laughs> which we have updates, we have big updates. We'll go to that um, next. But is when we redid our patio, we bought this um, filler stuff that you had to, like, put water down, but then you had to, like, go over it with a machine. Yep. Um, so it, like, compacted it down it, or something. It's called tamping. But it's like, it was like, yeah, it was tamping. But it's it was like, like a tamper. But it was like an actual, like, gas-powered machine. Yeah, I... When I did my patio, I did a hand one. That's a whole different story because I had a husband that didn't want to make the patio. So he made me do it myself. And we have I, a hand I, tamper. Yeah. yeah. Well, to do an entire patio. Yeah. That would, yeah. <laughs> that would have been a lot. Um, but I'm literally because we have the we have the retaining wall and it gets 
like the grass goes down yeah. at some point. So it's literally just standing there on the side while Mark's moving this thing around with tons of dust. That's what she so was saying. Like People seven, like information. Seven months. No, it was no. But even, they were watching him do something. It was like more of like an something. ASMR type of thing. Oh, yeah. The noise. But that is my most. Yeah, because I didn't put any music to it. Dude, people are weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. But then there's some things I watch on TikTok and I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, no, I'm definitely weird. I'm probably going to watch a lot of weird shit. But. Oh, yeah. Well, now we get to send them to each other. Yeah. You everyone, know? everyone in my life sends me TikToks on text. Yes. Because I don't have it. So people are slowly starting to like you and my friend Allison. She sends me TikToks daily on text. And now she sent the first one through the app. And I'm like, mm, here we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, at least through the app, we're not like bombarding you. Mm -hmm. You know, that's how some of them. Get but lost. when it's on text message, I actually watch it. And it's on TikTok now. I'm, so like I let so my. So can I have your phone and I'll <laughs> change the notifications? <laughs> I let my Instagram reels build up to like an obscene amount sometimes because I get overwhelmed by how many people send me. But then it's like, I have to go through them all. It's this whole thing. That's why you don't like all of the ones I send you. I, okay, I, I'm, go, I'm gonna start I wait screenshotting until there's every... like a bunch and I'm like doing something where I'm just laying somewhere for an hour and then I go through all, the, all of them at the same time. I don't keep up with them is the problem. So for me, I'm only on social media at night. Unless I'm posting something Depends, for the business. Yeah. I l like obviously creating yeah. content or something like that. But as far as like scrolling and that type of stuff, I only do it like right before That's bed. It's like a good rule. Like, that's how I go to bed at night is, like, hmm. turning my brain off with TikTok. All right. But um, a lot of people, I think the average person is on social media, like, four hours oh, a day yeah. I or won't something. Even like, look at my, I won't even look at my screen time. Yeah. Oh, God, no. That's a whole different. Well, because between work and that, it's, yeah. like. And then. It's constant. I'm an insomniac, so I leave it on as TV at night. I have, like. Oh, yeah. That is psychotic. <laughs> Like that. We don't have a TV in the bedroom. So that's why you don't have a TV in the bedroom. <laughs> so I refuse. This is a fun fact. I refuse, and I've gotten in fights with many partners about it, about having a TV in the bedroom. I'm I, fine with not having the TV in the bedroom. I just because of that reason, like I'll stay up. I yeah. won't sleep. I will not sleep. No. So I some sometimes I don't, but sometimes I'll turn it over. It's the noise. Yeah. I'm like it's that not with like the a screen. Fan. Yeah. Not, oh no, I have the fan going too. <laughs> Do you know what I read that's from? Not to go down another rabbit hole and then we'll talk oh, about some it. trauma that we have. No, it's from trauma. Oh, yeah. We yeah. You need the noise so it doesn't feel like you're alone. Yes. So you can feel safe. How Ex fucked up is that is? <laughs> then I'm double fucked up because I need the noise of the TV <laughs> and the fan. Yeah. I put the fan on with the air conditioner. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I have the fan it's on thing. constantly year round. Well, we, as long as we just psychoanalyze ourselves. <laughs> you don't even have to go to therapy. We can just talk. <laughs> All right. So what was the next thing? Uh, oh, real oh. estate and uh, architect buy a house. Okay. What happened now? So when we bought our house last year, because I had to get the backstory, um, the, we were told that the heating system worked and it didn't. <laughs> and so we had to go from, <laughs> we, it was this whole big thing. Anyway, it cost us a shit ton of money. And so we didn't get to do other things around the house, but a part of replacing the heating system, which was an oil heating system, um, the hot water was a part of the of the furnace and so while we couldn't use the furnace part we could use the hot water part and so for the past year every time we've needed hot water we've had to go downstairs and we've had to literally fill up this chamber within the furnace Is it 1942 <laughs> exactly and let me tell you i don't know when heat it was created but 1800s i don't know anyway I, i'm not good at history keep going so well, they had fires back in the 1700s. <laughs> they were warmer than you. Um, cavemen had... <laughs> they had more hot water than you guys do at your house. <laughs> so we just filled the system. And we knew at the end, like, we were we had to let the... We were just trying to get rid of the oil because it would be very expensive to replace the oil. So, like, the last, like, three weeks, I'm like... I've been telling Mark this whole time, like, we need to have a game plan. We need to have a backup plan. Like, we have everything. So, like, a month ago, he comes in. And he's like, what do you think we just, like, refill the oil tank for, for a little while so we figure out what we're going to do? And I'm like, okay. Because I, I really like hot water. Hot yeah, yeah. water. But. Oh, uh, yeah, the second it turns winter, burn my skin off. Oh, exactly. So, the last, like, three weeks, like, the tub's been a little weird with some mixing of the hot and cold. I'm like, I don't really. So, I go. I fly out Thursday for the show. Friday afternoon, Friday afternoon, Mark texted me and he was like, I just ran out of hot water. I was like, oh, like, did you need to fill the system? Because let me tell you, 
having to go into my disgusting basement with just a towel on to fill up this thing. <laughs> Which, by the way, we don't have any curtains in any of those windows. Oh, no, I sent a thing about, like, if you're the naked neighbor or not. I'm definitely I'm the naked definitely neighbor. The no naked Fs. Neighbor. Like, no. it's your problem. I'm sorry. Carry on. <laughs> Please carry on. <laughs> That's why they all hate me, I mean, probably. <laughs> my next door neighbor's ring doorbell faces my pool. I never thought about that. <laughs> what if people's ring cameras go in your window? If the window's open. Because, uh, the, the probably... like, all of my neighbor's front doors face uh, face your house. Right. No, there's, there's like, huh. I can see my neighbors across the street. Like, there, there's a pretty, on my huh. ring camera. But something, you know, like. I still don't care. No, I don't care. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, there's, we, so, we oh, ran out of hot water. And he goes, no, like, we ran out of hot water. Like, we're, we're out of hot water. So, he <laughs> had to spend the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> replacing our entire hot water system <laughs> at least you weren't home i was not home thank god um <coughs> so that's the newest thing the pest guy is literally calling me as we speak oh all, um, all the the be- patio guys it's, that's i work at a restaurant they're very invested in your house they keep asking me if the beetles have eaten your house to the studs yet um no they're <laughs> but the pest guy is there now because we have <laughs> My lawn guy has gotten stung by bees every single time he's come to my house in the past month. I don't know why it's, it's so bad. It's not funny. It's he's not like funny. a very nice guy. He's one of the nicest guys. And he's so nice about it. Why does he keep coming back? I guess he's so nice. I would fire you. But so what? I would be like, lady, listen, so, I'm giving you a great price. And every damn time I come to your house, I have I get stung by a freaking so, bee. So I figured I can't. Where? Home. Oh no, like it's in multiple. This you're gonna love this story. So so there's bees. We were ca- when we were camping, he texted me. He's like, I got stung by a bee. Here's a picture where I got stung. Fine. So we come home. By the way, I'm highly allergic to bees. Great. Like, so Mark's like, well, I'm gonna fix it. I'm like, okay, well, and you know love them all dearly but their time is different than our time and so like i can't go to the front door and for some reason at some point the amazon people have decided that they're now going to put all of the packages on this front door with a big ass sign that says do not leave packages on this door i don't know why we've been here battle with amazon okay so i can't get the packages now and my skittles were delivered so mark and i get in this whole tip and i'm like you just need to figure out the bees he doesn't so i'm gonna call the pest guy in the meantime of me calling the pest guy, the long guy came again. And I just happened to come home and he's like, have you seen the hornet's nest in the backyard that they're like swarming? Like, I'm like, no, well, I'm allergic. And he goes, and you didn't take care of the front one. <laughs> he's going to fire you guys. So, so I tell Mark, we have this, we have this big one over here. So we really got to get the pest guy out. And he's like, well, we need to talk to the neighbor. Cause it, it's a kind of on the property line. Nah. And, bee- and I'm like, get rid of it. I'm like, I'm allergic to bees. And you're getting rid of them anyway in a different area. So what's, it's not right. Like I'm not, I don't want them to like pay. They're with not me. charging you per bee. So Can you imagine they're like 50 cents per bee. <laughs> <laughs> I'm counting one, two. <laughs> That's how Mark's making it sound. Like so, they're going to charge you. Those are the neighbor's bees. These Mark, are our like, bees. So, <laughs> so this is how neurotic it is so i go fine like we're trying to be neighborly because our neighbors are freaking friendly so we're trying to be neighborly Oof. and so i'm i fly out thursday friday morning the cameras are th- friday night the cameras are on and i can see my next door neighbor on my ring camera this is how close we live him mowing his front lawn so i then call mark who's in the kitchen and go the next door neighbor is mowing his lawn. Please go see if I can kill oh the bees. Oh my God, that's too much. <laughs> Modern technology is just too much. I'm done. That's how close we live together. <laughs> and the fact that you were not in the state going, hey, I am 50. Bobby's mowing his lawn shirtless. Go talk to him now. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was Thursday night, actually. Because Scarlett had her first day of school and she got stung by a bee oh my God, in the I heard eye. About that. That's horrible. Actually. And she was such a trooper. Um, so she gets on the so he Mark leaves me to go talk to the next door neighbor because I've interrupted the floor. And he knows to boot that if he doesn't do it, you're gonna see on the freaking camera that he didn't go outside. And you're gonna be like, ring, ring, ring. La, 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 la. I am not that neurotic. I don't go back and look. Um, I would never have done that, but now he's gonna think I do. So <laughs> thank you for that. 
maybe he won't listen. So I come home and I'm like, so did you talk to the neighbor? Because obviously in Squirrel Brain, I've closed that tab and I'm not there to, to you know. So I come home, I'm like, oh, did you talk to him? He goes, yeah, he covered it up. So what? So my neighbor, like, buried the what? Oh, my God. <laughs> so the best guy is there now. But... He came, well, he went yesterday and he sprayed. Wait, 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 wait. He buried it in the ground? My name, yeah, so we, he, so. He and, dug a hole and buried them no, alive? No, they were already in the ground. Like, they're like a mud wasp or like a dirt. Yeah, they're just going to dig out. Right. <laughs> I thought I mean. these were like, I thought you meant he took like outside of the ground bees and dug a hole and buried no. them. I was like, that's morbid. No. I know so, we're killing them anyway, but like, that's going to be. Like, and I don't want to kill bees. I think these are amazing to whatever no, you in, need like, them the ecosystem need them. needs them yes but i need me more than i need yeah i know i get it but we can't relocate them but also so you know that smell that's been coming from my mud room oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay Can, now we need to know continue on you haven't smelt it i don't smell it when i go in there so it's only i don't on, smell anything it's only on certain days Sure, it smells today then because it's but 100 it degrees smells, out in the middle of September. It smells like sewer. I've never smelled and it. And it's only in like the back corner of my mud room. Oh, I've never smelled it. So when the pest guy comes back out today, he is going to go under. He came yesterday. He looked underneath the mud room because it's under like my outdoor stairs and told Mark that he needed to get his suit to come back. So I don't know. Oh. <laughs> he didn't tell him what was under there? Nope. Do you think he just based the suit on the smell? I don't know. I don't know. The smell's a certain level. We have to get the hazmat suit. Uh, so he's coming back with the suit. I can't so wait to see what he pulls I, well, out of there. I, God, I hope oh. it's a body. <laughs> I, don't. I hope it's a dead body. That would just like solidify this house. You. <laughs> You're definitely moving. Because we've already confirmed there's like multiple ghosts and dead people in there. Yeah. The, the, the nature. I don't know how many times you've texted me. I'm done with nature. I'm moving. Can I tell you, I grew up in the fucking woods. Every single house. Like, we had, like, woods. I've never had more... Cre I had a freaking turkey sitting on, like, the back patio the other... Like, I don't understand. Like, turkeys, bunnies, rabbit... Well, they're the same thing. But, like, if we have a hawk. We have, like, these big-ass vulture things. That's good. Because all we do is destroy nature. Like, humans. Like, we just... At least you have it. Anyway, until they mess with, with my flowers. So, <laughs> <laughs> anything else we need to cover today? <laughs> We've really run the. We're gonna have a special guest next week, kind of on the social media topic. Okay. Um. So you know, went back out and filmed the TV show again. Yep. Had a great time. So this time around, we had some of the same people that I had filmed with before. So really got to kind of connect on those relationships and see what people do at a, a deeper level. And so there's this girl, um, her name is Kat and she owns Beto and it's better together. And it's all about social media cool. and text messaging for friendships. Love that. Um, so we're going to have her on. Cool. And then we have, we have, we do have, we haven't had a guest in a little while. Mm -hmm. We have a couple special guests. We, we got up. some stuff coming up. Yeah. So some fun people coming on. People would be exciting. Yeah. All righty. That's it. Over and out. Over and out. Bye. Bye. Why is Jesse Stalker calling me?